what is listening skill and what are the types of listening and what are the factors that influence listening skill and what are the barriers that we may face in, in the process of listening and how to overcome them and what are the uh, how to increase our listening skill. These are the topics we have discussed in the previous class. Okay, today let us move to discuss um, speaking skill, right? Actually, speaking itself includes uh, itself uh, uh, emphasize on many skills. Okay, because we have to speak in different different situations. Okay, uh, broadly, broadly we have to speak. Okay, uh, to the others as as a part of conversation, and we have to speak to the group as a part of. Uh, this mass communication or uh, group communication, right? Okay, actually, if we speak to others, okay, uh, directly, that's what we call personal, interpersonal communication. Interpersonal communication. In interpersonal communication, we may need to speak with others as a part of conversation or paid work, okay? Um, that conversation may be a telephonic conversation or face-to-face -face conversation, we can say. Okay, and this is the third type we are doing. That is a, a digital uh, conversing via, uh, via digital media or conversing over the digital media using like this uh, uh, video call, right? So anyhow, anyhow, if we speak to only one person, or, or one or two persons, then it may be conversation. But sometimes we need to speak to the mass. Okay, number of people may be there, and they may they may be audience. We may be the speaker. We have to present something. Okay, that is that's different. That is different. Okay, why? Well, yeah, different patterns and a different rules may uh, regulate or may control the speaking skill in their presentation and the speaking skill in these conversations, right? So first let us see conversation part. Okay, actually uh, to understand this interpersonal skill, we have to understand what are the types of communication. Actually, basically what is communication? Sharing or exchange of information from one person to another person. Okay, if you share information to the others, that is communication. If you, even if you exchange the information, that means sharing and giving and taking information from other people and to the others, then it is called uh, communication, right? So this communication involves both exchange and sharing. Okay, okay, in this process of communication, we may have four types of communication. One is interpersonal, intrapersonal communication. In intrapersonal communication, we may speak ourselves or we may speak within ourselves. That is the point. Okay, we may speak ourselves, we may speak within ourselves. We may speak to the self or we may speak within ourselves. That is intrapersonal communication, right? And next one, interpersonal communication. If the communication may happen between two people, then it is called intra interpersonal. Inter itself uh, uh, means between two. Okay, between two. It may be immediate. So interpersonal between two, if the conversation happens between two or if the communication happens uh, between two, then it is uh, interpersonal communication okay sometimes a group may interact with other group a group may interact with other group that is called group communication that is called group communication okay sometimes one man may need to speak to the group of people okay that's what we call mass communication if one speaker speaks to the mass or audience, then it is mass communication, right? 
So now this uh, part of the speaking skill, we have to focus on interpersonal skill, interpersonal communication. Okay, in this interpersonal communication, we may need to speak to the others. Okay, let me say any individual, we may need to speak to any individual, right? So when we speak to others, okay, uh, we have to check many things. We have to check many things. Okay, based on our purpose, okay, if you practice speaking skill, that is different. If you practice, if you practice speaking skill, then that is different from actual speaking process. Okay, as a part of learning this, uh, as a part of de part of developing this lesson, uh, this speaking skill, our purpose may be to pursue the language skill or to develop language skill. As in case of perception, perceptional listening. Okay, we have to make others perceive our speech. We have to make others perceive our pronunciation, our vocabulary, and our sentences, our phrases, our clauses, our idioms, words, our proverbs, and sayings. These are all important things, dear students. Important things, dear students. Okay, as in case of listening for perception. Okay. When you speak something, other people, the, the partner in the practice, the partner in your conversation practice should understand, should inform you where you fail to communicate your idea properly. That may be in pronunciation or that may be in proper choosing, proper vocabulary, that may be sentence expression, or that may be your classes or phrases or these sayings, proverbs, and other idioms, right? Okay, that's why that's why when you listen, when you speak something, if your purpose is to pursue, to make the others pursue your speech, okay, you have to be very clear of this, all the things. What does it mean? What does it suggest? It does, it does not suggest that. If your purpose is making others to understand, you need not to follow all these things. It doesn't suggest like that. Okay, even if your purpose of speaking is to make others or to make the listener understand your message, then surely you should be able to follow all these rules. That's why we, should, we will study all of them as, a, as one part. Okay, as a combined, we will study all of them. Okay, see here, first pronunciation. Okay, dear students, as a part of speaking, you should be very clear of your pronunciation. That's why uh, uh, English Phonetic Association, they introduced the English, alphabetic, uh, English Phonetic Alphabet. Okay, as a students of uh, post-graduation, especially as a student, as a students of literature, to develop your listening speaking skill, you're expected to learn these uh, uh, phonetics. Okay, you're expected to learn the phonetic system, all the phonetic sounds, and how to pronounce a particular word. Okay, it is not possible to teach all the words. Okay, you, the students, you have to learn yourself. You have to uh, correct your pronunciation yourself by uh, following the English pronunciation dictionary, the English pronunciation dictionary, or any other source of information. Any other source of information, right? That's why, that's why, with students, you should focus on pronunciation. And the part of this pronunciation, you have to learn these phonetic symbols along with the consonants and oval sounds as we classified earlier. Okay, first you should learn overs and consonants and their sounds and they represent letters. Okay, how they are represented with so with those letters, and by using those sounds and letters, you are expected to learn, you are expected uh, to focus, okay, uh, on pronunciation, right? 
even when speaking, you are expected to give proper stress. You are expected to express your sentences with proper stress. That's why you have to learn the stress. You have to learn the stress, right? Yeah, the way to stress, how to stress. These are all the uh, topics we have to discuss uh, in uh, under the title, under the subtopic uh, syllable. Under the subtopic syllable, right? Okay. Next, uh, you have to know where to yeah, where to keep uh, intonation. Where to keep intonation. Okay. Part of the speaking skill, you are expected to know or you are expected to learn even the intonation. Okay. A rising intonation, falling intonation, rising and falling intonation. Already in the many in the classes, uh, many times I tell you, if you want to ask a question, you have to rise uh, at the end. Uh, there should be a rising tone. If you want to give the answer, there should be a falling tone. For example, if you want to ask uh, whether they're uh, whether they're uh, accepting or not, uh, then you may say, "Okay, okay." By asking the word, by asking in this mode, "Okay." It is very clear that it is a question. If you want to answer with that, if you want to give consent your uh, acceptance, then you have to say, okay. Okay? Okay. In such a way, in such a way, yes, children, you are expected to make your intonation properly. To make your intonation properly. Right? That's why. So, in the past... Sir, I have a doubt, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you define intonation in a single sentence, sir? The way meaning of intonation, sir. Yeah, intonation... In a single sentence. Yeah, in a single sentence, the meaning of intonation, maybe we can define it as a, the, the um, modulation in pitch. The modulation in pitch. Right? Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, see, question this statement. How are, uh, how are you? Yes, I am fine. Okay. Of course, there may be a pause, there may be a gap between two words, but uh, one sentence, one word uttered at a high pitch and the another word may be uttered at low pitch. Okay. If you find the yes, sense modulation in intonation, in, in, in pitch, Pitch, okay. Pitch means the volume, yes, of, volume of the sound. Volume of the sound, right? Sound, yes, sir. If you yes, rise, sir. if you rise your voice, that is rising tone, uh, a rising intonation. Okay. If you if you low down your voice, that is a um, falling intonation. Okay. What? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, got it, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, yes. So, so, for the part of the speaking, we have to focus on pronunciation. We have to focus on syllable, that is uh, intonation. We have to focus on stress. Okay. So, uh, uh, in the topic of syllable, we will discuss uh, syllable, stress mark very clear. Okay. And then uh, I think already from intermediate onwards, you might have uh, uh, learned many things about uh, this intonation, right? Okay, sorry for the interruption. Let me drink water. So, when, when you speak, when you speak, okay, we have to, we have to make our speech ornamental. Okay, we have to make our speech ornamental okay how the language may be effective when the language may be effective okay generally researchers tell us that if we use good idioms if we use good phrases in our speech in our conversation then our speech may be effective our conversations may be effective that's why we have to focus on good phrases, okay? Good, uh, good phrases and good collocations and good 
idioms. Idioms are so important. Okay, so now and then we can use uh, proverbs and sayings. Oh, oh, okay, so for the part of this conversation, for the part of this conversation, we have to make others understand our speech. Okay, so uh, even that is all, that, that should be also one of our purposes. That should be also one of our purposes. Okay, uh, when you speak something to the neighbor or other or to the uh, listener, then surely your meaning should be conveyed to them. Okay, in addition to all these parts, uh, in addition to make them understand your pronunciation, your vocabulary, your phrases, your classes, your um, uh, proverbs, sayings, and uh, phrases, idioms, everything. Okay, in addition to all these things, uh, your purpose should be to make them understand your speech, your meaning, your intended meaning. Okay, to convey your intended meaning, you should be able to choose the right code. You should be able to encode properly. Okay, if you fail to encode properly, then the speaker may not be able to. The speaker may not be able to understand your words, right? I may not be able to, uh, that means, uh, may not be able to uh, understand your uh, intention. Okay, so in the in the transactions, in the transaction of your ideology to the others, you should be very careful to encode properly, to encode your message properly. Okay, to understand that particular uh, encoding process. Again, we have to go back. We have to go back to that ideation process. Already, I told you, there is an ideation process transformation process, transferring process, and uh, identification and interpretation process at the listener's level, at the listener's level, right? So, yeah, dear, dear students, if anyone have any doubts, you can uh, write down in short box. Okay, so that I can answer them at the end of my discussion, right? <clears throat> so, uh, So in this ideation process, in this ideation process, you may have an idea in your mind. Okay, you may get some idea, you may get some information, but that information should be processed and should be executed carefully so that a, a, a thoughtful message may be sent out, a thoughtful message may be sent out well organized and a thoughtful organized a thoughtfully organized information is message right when you convey some information to others uh, that is message how small it is maybe one word or maybe one sentence or more sentences but information the sorry message is message okay uh, keeping in mind the listener at uh, the listener's level Keeping in mind the listener's level, you are expected to you are expected to convey your idea. You are expected to uh, process your ideas. Okay, choosing the proper vocabulary based on the level of the listener. Okay, to the students of first class, you can't you can't speak as a tenth class student. Okay, to the students of 10th class, you can't speak as a student of first class, right? Okay, uh, based on their level, we have to choose the right uh, sentences and the right vocabulary, right? Okay, even the topic should be selected carefully, okay? So, um, this is a conversation part. Okay, yes, uh, you, may con you may conduct the conversation face to face. Okay, standing face to face, and you may converse physically. Okay, that is a face to face conversation. Yeah, uh, sometimes it may not be possible to have face to face conversations. That's why we have alternative, that is, uh, 
telephonic conversations telephonic conversation okay telephonic conversation in the sense simply conversing from distances conversing from distances that may be video call or audio call whatever it may be telephonic means a distance speak conversing from distance okay may uh, though we are at a particular distance we may not, we may be able to converse by using this telephonic conversation right now so this telephonic conversation or the telephone or maybe this video call we may converse right so in this conversation yeah still of course for all these things we may have some barriers again as in case of uh, uh, listening skill okay maybe the same the same may be barriers okay um uh, lack of proper linguistic capability okay lack of uh, uh, proper encoding capability or a lack of uh, uh, thought lack of thought okay sometimes uh, lack of proper ideas or sometimes uh, a lack of proper content also lack of proper content we may not be able to convey anything okay if i ask you suddenly if i ask you to speak on um dada sahib uh, to speak on uh, dada by navrosi then how what do you speak okay if i intimate you earlier then you may collect some information then you can speak uh, without having the content what can you speak you can't speak if you don't have any idea about that particular person you can't speak anything that's why that's why the students okay when we have when we have to speak even we should have this content okay content that is to be delivered to the other people right okay for formal communication for formal communication we give more important importance to presentation we will give more importance to presentation to the group presentation to the mass even presentation to the uh, few members maybe three or four members in executive uh, board of executive members uh, meet uh, board of executive members meet or board of heads of the department heads of the department so meet okay whatever it may be how, how small the number may be but the presentation is all the time presentation okay in this speaking skill we have to speak presentation as another task in this speaking skill conversation is one task and presentation is another task okay so within this speaking skill that may be conversation or presentation we may have different skills okay a negotiative a negotiation skills persuasive skills okay uh, that means uh, uh, business skills we can say transaction skills we can say uh, communication skills we can say likewise there are motivation skills we can say these are all many things which may use which may be uh, conveyed or which may, which may be executed with this speaking skill with this speaking skill okay so uh, there are many platforms in which we have to speak okay uh, for there are many uh, uh, for for there are many purposes we may need to speak okay that's why so uh, we have to be very careful for all these things okay so in this process of speaking in this process of speaking right now okay how you may present okay you have to follow something you have to follow something okay moreover moreover in listening we need not to utter anything but in speaking we have to speak we have to produce the sounds we have to produce the sounds okay in this process in this process okay the pitch is important the quality of the tone is important okay the quality of the tone we can say okay um so proper uh, along with the proper intonation stress uh, we have to uh, check uh, our voice quality voice quality 
Okay, so what is voice quality now? What is voice quality? Yeah, surely some people may have husky voice. Some people may have horse voice. Okay, both are not uh, pleasant. Both are not pleasant. Okay, all the time our, vo our voice should be pleasant. How to make our voice pleasant? Okay. By practice, by practice. Okay, we can make our voice uh, pleasant. Okay, so this turns when we speak something. Okay, try to, try to may try to present something. Try to speak with a good voice. Okay, uh, some yeah, you may have a doubt. Okay, from the beginning, you, your voice may be husky. From the beginning, your voice may be hoarse. But now you can practice at least. Uh, uh, in, in Telugu, you can't uh, you can't make it uh, you can't change suddenly. But you are learning a new language as you are at the as you are in the beginning. As you are in the beginning, you are supposed to learn the good one. You are supposed to learn the utterance of the pronunciation of words uh, with good voice. With good voice, okay. If you practice, uh, it is possible, no doubt at all. Okay, uh, for example, for example, if you say example, okay, so, um, uh, for example, uh, let me tell you, um, um, what is that? Macker, macker. Okay, if you say it is M A K E R, macker, okay, if you say macker, then it is wrong. Okay, of course, it is not good. Okay, when you speak, when you speak, when you utter this word, maker, maker, then maker, then it would be good. It would be good. Okay, when you use such words, these words. So when you when you practice good pronunciation, surely I promise you, dear students, you can learn good pronunciation, no doubt at all. You can master good pronunciation, no doubt at all. Okay, instead of uh, Kalis, instead of Kalisi, <laughs> try to pronounce that word college, college, right? If you pronounce like that, uh, surely it will be good to listen. It will be sound good. Okay, that's why when you pronounce, when you pronounce the words, uh, try to make your pronunciation good. Uh, okay, uh, with a, a with a good voice quality. Okay, all the time when you speak something, you have to you have to utter the words uh, with a um, moderate sound, moderate pitch. With a moderate pitch, moderate in the sense of taginanta. Okay, enough, uh, enough pitch. Okay, your voice should not be too low, should not be too high. Your voice should not be too low, should not be too high. That's why better maintain good voice quality. Good voice quality. Okay, so um, in the next class, we shall discuss all these things clearly. Okay, as we have only uh, um, four minutes, okay, I, I would like to wind up this. Okay, uh, students, uh, if you have any doubt, you can ask me now in this topic, what we discuss now. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Yeah, what is encoding, right? Yeah, encoding, encoding. For example, for example, if you want to express, if you want to, in, in your mind, if you, you wanted to express the, um, the cow is eating, the cow is eating, right? So, of what you want to speak. 
of what you want to speak of what you want to speak yeah uh, can anyone uh, yeah uh, sonakala interact with me sonakala interact with me answer me of what you want to express something okay if you want to convey some information about cow you should first know that it is cow in english language you should know that it is cow right if you if you know that it is cow then then okay uh, so anakala unmute yourself and you can interact to me okay so that you can understand how to yes, encode how to encode okay in your mind you have the feeling to express that how we is eating grass okay but uh, yeah to express that you should know what is that animal okay that is cow what yes, is sir. it doing yes sir eating what is it doing eating what is it eating surely grass if you know this three words and if you know the proper sentence structure in english then uh, you can express that idea in present continuous tense the cow is eating the grass the cow is eating the gra grass okay see actually that is idea in your mind that is idea in a, in your mind that idea now was converted into a sentence that idea was converted into a sentence that is encoding process in communication skills okay that is encoding process. yes i got clear sir yeah that is encoding process in communication right okay as sir, one uh, more doubt sir ah uh, yeah what is the difference between uh, stress and intonation sir could you please yeah. explain yes yeah. stress is uh, making emphasize on one syllable at one time at one time making a particular uh, emphasis on a uh, making emphasis on a particular syllable or uh, a word in a uh, sentence okay maybe uh, it it may be uh, disconnected due to the last time okay in the next class i will explain that thing surely okay sure sir thank you sir oh, okay okay uh, okay this just bye to everyone for your participation in this uh, in this class bye sir okay thank you one and all uh, thank you sir yeah i'm closing this meeting thank you